What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. The question for today is, should you speak up about sin? We're in Matthew 14 and we are going to look at John the Baptist and something amazing that he says that really, debatably, some people might say he just shouldn't have said anything. So, he's talking to Herod, who is the ruler, and he says to him, Herod, what you're doing is wrong. Now, what is it that Herod was doing that was so wrong? Well, Herod had actually taken the wife of his brother Philip. Not a good thing to do, obviously, right? And John the Baptist could have just remained silent and said nothing about it, but instead he says to him, Herod, it is unlawful for you to take her as your wife because she is your brother's wife. And Herod was not very happy about this, but he did respect John the Baptist. But for his wife's sake, now his, well, his brother's wife's sake, which is now his wife, he took John the Baptist and put him into prison. And he actually was gonna kill him, the Bible tells us, but he was afraid of the people because he thought, because the people knew that John was a prophet. So they didn't want anything bad to happen to him. So he took him into prison. So you see Herod here, just back and forth, playing these political games. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know, should I kill the guy? Should I take him into prison? What should I do? The people love him. My wife hates him, obviously. And I'm not too happy with him either, Herod is thinking. But he takes him and puts him into prison. Now, question. Why did John feel it was so necessary to say something about Herod's sin? And should you and I say something when we see sin? Should we call out sin? Or should we ignore it? Remember back a couple days ago, we learned that Jesus called John the Baptist the greatest person ever born of a woman. So obviously this guy did a lot of good things that Jesus was totally in favor of, and this case is no different. Jesus wants us to call out sin, but John the Baptist didn't call it out publicly and go shouting around to everybody else, Herod's bad, Herod's wrong. No, he just went directly to Herod and said, it's unlawful for you to take your brother's wife. And we can do the same thing in a personal, quiet, respectful conversation, let somebody know when they're going off course, when they're doing something wrong, and God will actually approve of this. The ending might not be the happiest for us as we're gonna to learn tomorrow with John the Baptist, but it's worth it to stand for truth. It's worth it to stand for what's right, no matter what, because we're not trying to please people, we're trying to please Jesus. God bless you guys, have an awesome day.